Thank you so much for your interest in AIFD. AIFD is the national association helping to set the standards and excellence for floral design and floral artistry around the world. We welcome this opportunity to explain the process for participating in the professional floral design evaluation to become a member of AIFD. We hope that you'll join us and join our family. To me, AIFD is the standard of excellence, it's a resource for education, and it's a supportive family to help you on your floral journey. AIFD is a network of passionate individuals interested in education, trends, and what's happening across the globe. For me, they're my resource for success, inspiration, and biggest of all, my floral family. Achieving an AIFD certification would mean that I have achieved a certain level of expertise that I can share with others. Achieving my AIFD certification means setting myself a cut above. Achieving my AIFD means that I achieve a personal goal on my career. For me, it's a sense of accomplishment and becoming part of a group that is supportive and encouraging. To me, AIFD certification means being acknowledged as one of the best in our field. It's going to give me a sense of pride standing amongst the best. If you decide to participate in the PFDE session, we want you to bring your A-game, the wow factor. Dazzle us with your creative flair. Really show us your knowledge of the principles and elements of design and really show two to three techniques within each arrangement. They don't need to be huge, but it can't be your average daily design work either. You really need to look at the evaluation criteria available on the website. Today we're gonna to take a look at some designs and see what the evaluators may be looking for. One of the great things about participating in the PFD is that you really don't have to bring a whole lot with you. Everything will be provided. When you enter the room, you'll see that all the hard goods are placed on the table and ready for the exact specific categories that you have to complete. And behind you, you'll see all of the flowers that you could possibly use for those. We'll give you the specifics during orientation on what projects are to be completed in the specific categories. The design categories are sympathy, arrangement, weddings, flowers to wear, and duplication. You can bring five tools with you. We're even going to give you a pouch that you can put those tools in and bring into the testing process. The five tools that you can bring in with you are ribbon shears, a knife, cutters or a clipper or something that can manage some of those thicker stems, a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers could also substitute for this or a jewelry tool instead of the needle nose. But remember, only five tools. When looking at these designs, you'll see that the, although they're very similar in shape and color, they're quite different in application. This would be considered average or below average. If you look closely at the mechanics, you'll see that there's quite a bit of foam showing. And also, there's no strong focal area, and the line development throughout is weak. This may be what is considered normal for sending out of your shop on a daily basis, but this is not the level of excellence required for certification. As we look at these next two designs, you'll see a creative use of a wreath base. This one has a defined line going through the center of it, and then also the form has been covered with foliage. This adds creativity and interest. Additionally, there are many accent details added and strong groupings. This design features a lot of movement and rhythm and really a strong emphasis on line. The vertical design of this arrangement really gives a creative flair to the design. Using a lot of different techniques, the banding and binding expose mechanics and as the dynamic lines lead your eye through the arrangement, it brings it down into the area of focal emphasis. A strong focal point is really important in a design like this that really anchors the design to make this a successful composition. 
A couple of items that we want to highlight on this arrangement, the first one being the use of negative space throughout the center of the arrangement, which creates depth and interest. And then towards the bottom of the arrangement, as a basing technique, we've used a plating or braiding of the lily grass. Another technique used throughout the design is banding with a hot pink. This creates visual interest, it adds a little bit of creativity, and then also unifies your arrangement and helps the visual flow. You can always add creative interest to your arrangement through different techniques using different types of foliages. This one has the contrast of the metallic wire against the lily grass. Mechanics is another one of the evaluation criteria. You need to make sure you save time at the end, about the last half hour, to really take a look at your designs. Evaluators are going to be looking down into your arrangement to see if there's any exposed foam. They want to look at each one of your techniques. They really need to be clean and precise and really pay attention to every detail. The bridal category can feature anything from a bride's bouquet, bridesmaid bouquet, or a flower girl, or really anything that you could sell to a bride for her wedding. Today we're looking at a cascade bouquet in a bridal holder. So you can see in this more traditional presentation, it has the cascading element, it has the depth coming back, but each of the evaluators are allowed to pick up your bouquet, and you want to see how it feels in your hand, if it balances in the hand and also feels comfortable for the bride to carry. Cascades can also be a non-traditional form. This is more of a shower cascade bouquet. It has multiple descending lines. When we look at this design, yeah, it's a great design from the top. But as the evaluator picks it up, you realize that it's not a professional finishing application on the back. So the back is just as important as the front. That is something you'll be evaluated on. Applying professional finishing techniques are just as important as the design on the top. In order for you to be successful, you need to pay attention to all those details. Keep in mind that you can use any item provided to you on your table or in your buckets. In this design, the corrugated cardboard has been used to create floral leaves. This adds creativity. With flowers to wear, you may be asked to create a variety of different designs. Even when you're creating smaller items, you need to remember the depth. This one, we've used the wire by pulling it forward above the floral product to create that depth. Additionally, we have the green wire going throughout the design as well to continue your color. With boutonnieres, you need to remember to add your creative flair. With items this small, the evaluators will be looking very closely at your design. Remember to add that detail and keep your finish very clean. One of the design categories that you'll be asked to complete is a duplication. You'll be provided with a photograph on your table and asked to replicate that exactly with the product that it's provided. Remember to check the website, AIFD.org, for a current list of all the specifics and the process for achieving the requirements to participate in the PFDE. So we hope you'll join us on your journey for floral design certification. Go to AIFD.org. There we have online classes, leads to educational partners across the country, and AIFD mentors in your area that are ready and willing to help you achieve your certification goals. We really want you to be successful, and we would really love for you to be a part of the passionate world of floral design excellence. Thank you.